Good day, my great students out there. My name remains Mr. Pestos Okolo, mathematics teacher. By the grace of God, we having a class with you, the GSS1 students. Before we start, let's pray. Lord God, help in heaven, we pray you help us this day. Help us to learn very well, cause us to retain. At the end, all glory we give to your name in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shortly, we're looking at what we refer to as whole numbers. Whole numbers. Here, yeah, what we have there is whole number. We're considering how to read and write whole numbers. And before then, what do we refer to as whole numbers? Whole numbers are numbers, numbers which have no decimal point. Decimal point or fractional part. Rational part. For example, let's consider these numbers. 120, 45, 2, etc. These numbers are referred to as whole numbers because they have no decimal part. This is what I mean by decimal part. Let's consider these values. You have 1.06. This 06 that you have here is the decimal part of this number. So this is not referred to as whole number. You also have something like this. Suppose you have two, whole number one over two. This one is a fractional part attached to a whole number. And together I refer to this as a missed fraction. This is not a whole number, but a missed fraction. So you can see from our definition that whole numbers are numbers that contain nothing more but just a number without decimal or without a fractional word, part. Now, today, in course of this teaching, we shall be considering how to read and write whole numbers in words. For example, if you have the right 10245 in words. The first thing you do is to look at what you have to consider the category belongs. What the category of unit? Is it tens, hundred, thousand, or tens of thousand? That will help you to write this value in words. Like you have here, this is five, and that is unit. This is four, that is tens. And this is hundred, this is thousand, and this is tens of thousand. So this number is in tens of thousand. That means writing this number in words will be one zero two five, two, four, five, rather, is written in word as 10,000, 10,000, and 45. I repeat, one zero 
245 is written in words as 10,200 and what 45. Again, look at another example. We have number two. To write two three four one zero one zero in words. Now like what you do again you consider the values and look at it now. Unit tens hundred thousand tens of thousand they have your hundreds of thousand and you move over to minimum. Now what you have here will be interpreted as two, three, four, one, zero, one, zero. You have it already as a minimum. So it becomes two million three hundred three hundred and forty one thousand forty one thousand and ten Two million three hundred and forty one thousand and ten. So two three four one zero one zero is written in where as two million three hundred and forty one thousand and ten. So these are your expressed numbers or values in ways. So let's also look at the place value system. We have the units. The tens, the hundred, thousand, tens of thousand, hundreds of thousand, and etc. to the left. Now you have numbers displayed according to this place of values. We have seven zero 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 zero. If you look at it now, it becomes seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand. And this becomes sixty thousand. This becomes five thousand. That means you have 700,000 plus 60,000 plus 5,000. That will give you 765,000 altogether. So let me do that again. Now you have here 2, you have 3, you have 4, you have 5, you have 6, and you have here 7. So you have together. 765,432. So writing it in words becomes 765,400. And thirty two. So this is how you write whole numbers in words. Before I end this class, I'll be leaving shortly with assignment to do. You attend to this assignment, ensure that you do them taken seriously. View assignment, you snap and send to me on WhatsApp which I will check, mark, and in the next class, look at corrections. So the assignment we put on the board for you now to see. Attend to this assignment and send to the WhatsApp number 070-67598881. Thank you for being my student today. God bless you very good to meet next time. God bless you.